Hi, it's Yvonne from Just Imagine Journals in Australia. Today I have a custom journal for you that I was asked to make by Emily with the mushroom theme. I have a soft fabric cover, five hole pamphlet stitch on the spine and a pocket on the back as well with the mushroom fabric strip going right across. And here I've included a little bit that was on the end of the bolt that said natural seeded which I thought fitted in beautifully with the theme. With the pocket on the front, we have uh, this beautiful paper and I'll put all the links below. And I've done some stenciling on the back for a journaling space. This is a 3D uh, interactive element I've been experimenting with. So I've cut windows and that sense of movement with the leaves in the forest and the uh, fibres uh, for the vines and, and the uh, foliage and you can um, also lay this down on any page and you have that forest peeking through so that's fun as well. So we have a, a sense of um, timelessness, nature, textures and layers is the uh, themes that go through this journal and a key of course we need a key to enter this magical forest calico uh, on the inside cover and then we have these beautiful papers I've added some words throughout just words that relate to uh, things that you might see in the forest so mushrooms this is some pianola paper I've cut the perforations and we've woven paper through it uh, with the leaves on them and then I've added some more leaves and a definition of nature here in this tuck I've got some tracing paper which I've sewn over a leaf image and another little piece sticking out. So I've done that throughout and that you can't hear it but it has also a crackly sound so the sound of leaves and of underfoot and the sounds you hear in the forest. So stenciling on tea dyed paper, a swing tag again with the fibres simulating that sense of movement and the foliage and a little fairy house here. They can be removed, uh, they're just on a slide and uh, you can write on the back of each of those. And then on the reverse, another one of these and I've left the threads hanging for that, that crackling and the layering effect. Ferns. And these are some images from a botanical book from uh, I think it's about the 17 or 1800s. So that sense of timelessness that people were discovering the forest and discovering all these mushrooms even uh, back to time immemorial. Some more stenciling and some tea dyed paper. And I've used the wildflower stencil from Tim Holtz for that same um, effect of layering and uh, looking through the trees and seeing other things uh, or looking through piles of leaves and noticing animals or other, other uh, foliage, I've used tracing paper. This is uh, one sheet of paper which I've made into a number of pockets and I haven't pasted this down. That could be a pocket but I thought that could be good journaling space as well. Lots of little elements here, lots of things to discover. And this one here is a, another pocket with something, again, you can see that layering effect with something in it, sewing. And the leaves you could write on the back of those as well if you wanted to, a word or a journaling spot. The tracing paper. And this is a uh, nature, this is a slide again. And I won't remove it, but you can, and you can, it's, it uh, folds out like this, so you then have three journaling spots on the back, so it's like a little hidden spot, and this is with faux leather, so I've used uh, the green on one side and the reverse here. These are chocolate wrappers, which again have that crinkly sound, and I just thought the colours fitted in beautifully. This is a gel print on watercolour paper. And on the reverse, another one of those tracing paper layered over um, a leaf, pieces of ephemera. I like the idea of uh, the tea dye looks like shadows in the forest. 
the shadows that the trees make, forest, and then we come to the second signature, serenity. This is um, a actual mushroom, which looks like an umbrella, which I th thought fitted in with the imagination theme. And this is a paper that I've uh, sprayed and um, stenciled. An envelope, which also serves as a pocket. And a little elf sheltering there. This is faux leather paper, which I've made, and I'll leave a link for that. And it's... Um, craft text here which I've embossed with a tree um, stencil with a tree embossing folder to give a bit of texture and the uh, mushroom which looks like it has moss on it and grass. The paint chip um, is showing the um, or framing a mushroom definition and another mushroom definition on this page and these very old uh, from a very old field guide, a copy uh, showing that sense of timelessness of the forest. I think it's from about the 17 or 1800s. Another field guide page. And this idea of uh, the night coming in the forest. So this is folding over to a pocket. This is a canvas which I've stamped on, so the sense of going into the forest through the trees and the the more muted colours where dusk and night time and then this is the other part of that which is all made from a 12 by 12 inch sheet and lots of pockets so here here a journaling spot so again that sense of uh, the darkness in the forest a mushroom strip Again, that the, the dappled look of the leaves in the forest. And the back of the dictionary page, which I've made into a pocket with the rest of that paint chip. And again, that crackling effect and a tab. This is a little booklet. It says uh, mushrooms in Dutch. And I've used images uh, from that booklet and pop them in there it was originally full size of course but I've shrunk it down and this little vintage uh, image was from the front cover of a music book Grow Little Mushroom Grow and then the back of the paint chip is the cover and that is a um, pocket as well and another piece of pianola with uh, paper with uh, the, the paper weaving through it This is a free, um, freebie images from Janie B Journals and um, it creates quite a lot of pockets. So I'll take those images out. They're all journal cards that you can write on the back of. A magical forest and it folds out. So you could also pop a piece of paper there to write on and a little secret spot. of made it so that that's completely removable so you've got plenty of space there for that expansion. Trees, and the last uh, of the three signatures, woodland. And I like this, this is done on watercolour and a little collaging there, some texture. And on the back is a, a, a leaf from my garden, a fern, which I've um, stenciled, not stenciled, but gel printed on there. Used, and um, you'll see the other part of it shortly. Some um, collaging and a suspended slide made with a book page. Paper from um, Tanya, which looks like it could be mushrooms or shadows. And this is an Australian botanist, uh, Elizabeth Conabare. And she um, was also a stamp designer. And this entry I've included because she mentions having to remeasure some of her image, some of her drawings for the stamps. And there's some of her um, mushroom drawings. And that idea of printing on tracing paper and having the layering. Another pocket. And this one has a poem in it by my husband's uh, grandmother called Woodland Ramble. 
in 1939 and uh, it tells about all the things that she experienced in the forest. So that sense of timelessness again, lots of collaging, tracing paper. So it's all kept fairly loose. Sounds in the forest and aren't these owl images and the mushroom images just beautiful. <clears throat> that dappled light. Another little tuck, little elf, dream. And then we come to the last uh, or the other part of that fern, tree fern from my garden. And when I printed it, I printed it with this fold up so it looks almost hidden, but that's actually a little uh, secret pocket, I guess. And that's another paint chip uh, piece of ephemera, a specimen card this time. And it happened to say on the paint card, young leaf and Venus fly trap. So that fitted in with the theme and all the different colours of greens. I've just sprayed on the back of that uh, print. And here we have a little journaling spot. And the irregular edge just for that sense of, uh, of nature and solitude. And then right on the back here, two more gel prints. This one has a mushroom which you can barely see. It's melted into the background, which I love because it has that sense of uh, discovery in the forest and, and things that are hidden. <clears throat> and this journal is um, a cover of an actual journal from 1797, so I've included that there, and some images that were in that field guide. So actually it wasn't a journal, it was a field guide, but I've made it into a little mini journal. And then we have a pocket here with a tag and another little uh, tuck spot there. So that goes in there as well. So um, that is the mushroom journal for Emily. I hope you like it, Emily, and I hope you all enjoyed it as well. If you did, I'd love you to subscribe. And I always love to read your comments. Uh, so if you'd like to comment, and I'll put the links for things that I've mentioned uh, in here. I also have another mushroom journal that I'd done previously and I'll leave that link as well. Thanks so much. Bye for now.